This video will show how to migrate contact lists into Skype for Business on Office 365 by using the Contact List Migrator web app. This is the second step in a two-part process that encompasses migrating buddy lists from same time into Skype for Business. So the prerequisite that isn't shown in this video is exporting the contact lists from same time and putting them on the server where this web app is hosted. I will explain how those contact lists are accessed and served to the client as this video goes along. But first, we're going to behave as an end user who has just installed Skype for Business client on their desktop. They've also received some notification telling them to go to a web page and migrate their old contact list from same time into their Skype for Business client. So here we have our Skype for Business desktop client, and you can see that it is empty. We are in the Groups tab, and we can see there are two default groups, Favorites, and Other Contacts, and they're always there. Now we're going to follow the link to the web app, and right away we're brought to a Microsoft sign-in page. This is because the Skype APIs that we are using are exposed through an Azure app, and because our organization's Office 365 tenant is connected to Azure AD, the users can authenticate into our web app through Office 365 and we will know who they are. We can see our organization's logo so we know it's okay to sign in. Once we authenticate, we are brought to the contact list migrator tool that searches for my same time contact list that has been exported onto the server. We can see that it has been found and on the left hand side it is previewed for me. The progress bar at the top is telling me that it is signing into Skype for Business and searching for my same time contacts in the Skype for Business directory. All of my same time contacts were found, so now I can review my same time contact list and decide which groups to migrate. The contact list migrator web tool only migrates private groups from same time. So by clicking on the group names, I can review my private groups and decide which ones I would like to migrate. So, for example, I decide that I want to migrate the group named India. I really only talk to Vivek, so I can click the Migrate button next to the group, and the process begins. First, the group is created in Skype for Business, and then the contacts are added to the group one by one. The technology used to perform this migration is the Skype Web SDK, which is a set of JavaScript libraries and this is a highly scalable solution because all migration computation occurs client-side and there's barely any load on the IIS server besides serving up the same time contact lists and performing some login. So after I migrate the group named India, I change my mind and I decide that I want to migrate the entire same time contact list. And I do this by clicking the Migrate All Contacts button at the top. The Skype Web SDK doesn't allow duplicate groups to be added, so the India group will only appear once in my Skype for Business client. Then when the migration is complete, I can see all of my groups in the web app are migrated. So next I'm going to go back to my Skype for Business desktop client and see the changes that just took place. To force my contact list to refresh, I'm going to sign out and then sign back in, and we will see my groups appear. This video has shown you how to migrate your contacts from same time into Skype for Business on Office 365 through using the web tool that puts the power in the hands of the end users to choose which groups they would like to migrate.